partially had that in mind. Like, tickets are going back up close to full dollar worth of value. I think we've looked at the, like, there are sites that you can look at your account value. Ooh, some form of a, um, affinity type deck here. Is there a trade restriction time for new accounts? I'm actually not sure on that. Yep, it is in Seoul. I like keeping play sets. You'll notice like all those cards that I was just trading away for the most part, I kept four of, and those are like staples in other formats, you know? The duel, uh, the duels, the fetches, the shocks, Tarmogoyfs, Force of Wills. Like I don't, I don't even have a deck using, oh, I do, I guess. I've been playing vintage a lot lately, but. I appreciate the race effort. I really do. It is. Pioneer is like a more recent modern for sure. Oh, no. As long as I just keep four of a card, I don't care what, like, for example, Bloodstained Myers. I don't mind having one promo and three regulars. As long as I just have four of that type of card. It doesn't matter. To, as, like, I don't care about mixing and matching like that. I don't need to have perfectly um, symmetrical lands. Again, and yeah, for some people, I'm sure that would drive them insane. But for me, I don't mind. I actually don't think I need the Seasons of Growth here. Oh my god, Zico. <clears throat> With the 77 months, Zico. The very first subscriber. I think I'm going to pitch the uh, glitters here. I think leading with Sun Petal Grove is correct in case I want to, or in case I hit another green source, I can go one drop, whatever, one drop. <clears throat> They are holding open a metallic rebuke in theory. I guess they didn't have it, okay. That'd be kind of cool if it would do like first, second, third, all the way to the top 10, but if you have a first next to your names, it, it means you're one of the first uh, 20 or 25 people or something. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, the, I mean, Ads are just something that's that are gonna have to be here for a while. It's part of my TSM contract. I know they're annoying. I think I like just playing it safe. I don't think it's t five. It's it's a decent number. Oh, Dark Steel Citadel. I need to draw land next turn. A Griflame, thanks for the four months. Ooh, now I think they should 100% sack the Giraper after attacks. I think they're going to. That's smart play. I need to draw a creature here to chump for a turn. Maybe basic planes is not good in this deck. Because if these were just... Uh, I guess I just needed to hit a third land anyways. Maybe it didn't matter. I think this deck only runs 18 lands. 
This deck also mulligans pretty aggressively, but because of the once upon a times, you can uh, you can uh, be a little bit greedy. But being on the play is so big for this deck. Here we go. I don't know why I didn't keep that. That was really stupid. Why didn't I pitch the forest? That made no sense. <laughs> Just strictly worst. The worst land to keep. Forest. For example, now next turn I can't go white, white. Although I guess six cents is the one that we want the most anyways, but pretty awkward. Sure. Let's go for damage push. A cold beer, thanks for the 11 months. Turn two, five, five. From the opponent. Good. Well, this is where not keeping that damn sun petal grove is going to bite me hard. So if I don't draw a land next turn, I can't go double cartouche. <laughs> they might just pass with counter open. Oh, nope. Okay, so land next turn would be huge. If I didn't draw a land, Cartouche would at least be able to chump, but that was obviously nice. Okay, so they're not leaving back their indestructible 5-5. Five, five. What just happened? Oh, they tried to equip their Darksteel Citadel? What? Oh, we're getting trolled now. Womp womp. What are we playing today? More Pioneer. More different decks. Oh, crap. I think I forgot to take out the Recycle or something. Can't tell if it's garbage or Recycle today. Budge. I think it might have just been Compost. And if it was just compost, that's no big deal. Sounds great. Blue red Dynavolt. So we just win. That's kind of a creepy hit. They're going to have a counter here, right? I think I'm going to go SRAM into Boon. And if they're running some uh, Pyroclasm effect, they're going to get me. Except. What can they have? So I don't think any of the... Uh, Blue red decks run like a sweeper. That's irrelevant. All right, let's go for damage output. I think a thirteen twelve might be a little bit too big for them to deal with. Oh, I could see Angers, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they have Angers from the board. <clears throat> I 
I don't think I need to bring in natural states. I mean, they do hit like Gear Hulks and Dynavolt Towers, but my creatures, for the most part, don't care about Dynavolt's Towers. And if I'm natural stating a Torrential Gear Hulk, then they've gotten to turn six, which is probably not good for me. I think only the Veils are worthy of consideration here. Is Armadillo Cloak legal? Oh, I didn't. Right. This is not just a disenchant for one. <laughs> Adds extra relevance to my point. Ooh, maybe I should have should have some fragmentizes in the sideboard instead. <clears throat> I think I can actually cut the unflinching courage versus them. They're not pressuring my life total all that much. And even though yes, courage can help get it out of range of a um we have a bunch of other ways to do that already anyways. I can also see cutting Griff's boon, but I like having the cheap um, cheap ones. All right, so we don't have a creature here, but this hand's pretty good otherwise. Right, right. I'm just saying the fragmentize might be better than the uh, natural states. That's kind of interesting. I think I'm just going to attack and maybe season. Wouldn't be surprised to see a sensor here, though. We're hoping to fade the, uh, the board wipe this turn. Okay, that's fine. This is going to make it a four power creature or four toughness creature. I guess the reason to have courage is for trample. As they, with Whirler, they might be able to produce enough chumpers. But with double season, we're going to start going ham on cards. Yeah, but last hope doesn't get hexproof creatures. <clears throat> Chimera, you already are sick. That's the secret. Gabriel Michael G, thanks for that 13 months. There's the tower, sure. Let's play the Basara first, get two scries, and then cartouche up the Basara. This is pretty disgusting, not gonna lie. Man, these cartouches are actually a downside, given the opponent. Uh... Oh, I guess they could just war the, or harness lightning their own creature and then have zero. Yeah, this is where Unflinching Courage was super relevant. The trample here. Because how do I push through now? I don't have another way to give trample. Maybe that was a mistake, cutting them all. They can just build up a bunch of... Uh... Oh god, Ranker would be insane. That might make this deck like too busted, honestly. 
No. I'd rather put it on another hexproof. There is the real possibility of like decking myself here. <clears throat> yeah, I could see heroic intervention for sure. Oh, I shouldn't have played that ethereal. I should have just played another, another Basara. What I should have done. Star of Extinction incoming. That doesn't even kill my Glade. Oh, yes it would, because these would all fall off. Just Gear Hulk. Yep. Your Hulk Glimmer, so they can poop out three chumpers again. <clears throat> I mean, we have Veil of Summer for River's Rebuke. I shouldn't have put the frickin' armor on my Glade Cover Scout. It already had all that glitters, which was good enough. No, stop it. Uh, Disciple of Deceit. Got that five mana three four. <laughs> yeah, this has to be a terrible matchup for that deck. All right, BRB. Did Once Upon a Time literally just go up two tickets? Didn't I, didn't we just check like an hour ago and it was at 17? What the hell? <clears throat> Hopefully this isn't too slow. Oh God, is it a mirror match? Time to draw all of the cards. <sighs> Lecter Mage would be funny. Oh! Okay. Hey, cup of noodles. Thanks for that 58 months. Yeah. Gonna drink my coffee first, but... We're just looking for unflinch unflinching courage, really. Although Basara with glitters can block a bunch of their stuff next turn. I could definitely lose if I don't find unflinching courage. It looks like this just ch chumps. Unless they crew and try to race. Which I'd be okay with. <clears throat> yeah, looks like they're gonna chump with the mage. Good. <laughs> nice Teferi and Reflector mages. Oh, Jesus. That win? I think that wins. <laughs> had to pause there to do the math but it in fact yes <clears throat> uh, Chizo thanks for that 22 months 
Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to bring in. Oh my god, Sensual Sloth with the 69 months. Nice. Dude, you keep asking me what I'm playing, but come on. Everybody's been talking about the Pioneer. <clears throat> it's Pioneer, bruh. Well, it's a little bit small. Yes, I'm sad to say yesterday I made a bar joke. <clears throat> That might have been a good draw. The race is on. Oh, they get to take my ethereal armors. <clears throat> some lands here. Land next turn probably still wins. I lose here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Land me, dealer. Yeah, I think the planes need to be changed in this deck. The planes are the planes have been awkward almost every single time. They should probably just be mana confluences, but again, I don't want to shell out <laughs> for all those mana confluence. Hmm. Dead. <clears throat> Just need to hit a third land or a second green source. Shindia thinks that 28 months. I guess I don't need these. Uh, failed. Eh, no, they protect against tension sphere and whatnot too. Never mind, we'll leave them in. Only problem with hub in this particular deck is that it's good once and then terrible forever after. So, Temple Garden? What do you mean? Oh, oh, the the Temple of Unity, yeah. Or whatever, plenty, yeah. The, can't really afford to have tap lands in this deck. I think the Fortified Villages might be necessary, but... I don't actually think this is a keep, is it? Yeah, I think this might actually be a mulligan. Because this only digs for lands and random creatures. I think I like shipping. All right, well, try this, I guess. Super awkward thing is you don't want to go in on SRAM. But I might just need to cast SRAM to cycle a little bit. Depending on what the opponent does here. Okay, that's that's very good. And we don't want to play two ethereal armor since we know they have uh, um, three columns in their deck. I don't care about this trade. So what, what do you call him? The deputy of detention? Ooh, indestructible. I'll find unflinching courage, hopefully. Fail would also be decent. I 
feel like they're just going to chump here with their Spectral Sailor. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's fine. That's going to kill the Ethereal, presumably. I don't think I'm supposed to go in on the warrior. Ooh, daddy. Is there a counter unless I pay three? Just dispute, but they don't have the mana for that and that's not blue. Uh, they had a Coco that they couldn't just cast. Oh, we're playing against the Luxac. I'm pretty sure it was just talking in the chat. <clears throat> this is not a keep. Close, though. This is an unfortunate keep. Season of Growth is going to have to do some heavy lifting. They mulliganed to six as well. Watch the opponent be on a deck with just like a bunch of edict effects. Okay. So this is just going to be a straight up race. Unflinching courage is basically insta win. I might get Ember Cleave next turn though, for example. Like I'm pretty sure I need to do this. A2 life, which is not ideal, but we need to find our courage. This deck's been performing very well. I'm going to lose to Ember Cleave on this. Pretty much. I really want to attack. Can I beat an Ember Cleave anyways? This warrior can't block. Man, I put him on a two turn clock though if I attack here. And I don't have him on a two turner if I don't attack. Got him. Wait, do they give trample? Oh, they also give trample. The Legion Loyalist gives trample, doesn't it? Oh, it was the next card. All right, well, this is just a straight up race. I probably just need a mulligan for unflinching courage. Wouldn't be surprised if they, uh, they uh, bring in like a skull crack or something too. But we beat them given ideal draws. But ours has more variance. So I have a once upon in time, so I don't need to keep one of these lands. Yeah, I think it's the confluence. Because even though I'm going to have to pay two life here for the temple garden, the confluence would end up um, costing me more life in the long run. I think I like resolving the season here. Isle Driver gets scary real fast, too. I need to draw some, uh, Enchantments next turn. If I just draw like another land, I probably lose. This is going to be a lot of damage coming up. Oh my god. So bad. <clears throat> I 
we do get a scry here at least. Yeah, he might be ripped now. Five, ten, twelve, eighteen. I think I just take this and hope to draw any of my enchantments next turn. Okay, this is the start. Come on, we got a lot of looks. Okay, this is another rebuy of two cards. Nice. We're not looking for courage, we're looking for uh, ethereal armor or all that glitters. Nice. I should do it. Wait, is this? This isn't lethal, is it? It's one off. Oh, wait, what am I? Oh, no, no, the cartouche gives double, of course. Right, because the cartouche itself is plus one, plus one, and then the uh, armor gives a but extra bonus. Oof. Now they're on the play, though. Yeah, and this is just a straight-up goldfish for both players. And if they do have the uh, Ferocidons, then we need to go for the damage output and not the lifelink. I think this is a, a sad keep. I could take SRAM. I'm not liking my chances already. Three. Need to find courage really bad. This is still six damage. <laughs> This doesn't really do anything. I think I hold it. Oh, it's courage or bust, basically. Ah, now they're pooping out too many tokens. Oh, that might just kill us. Yeah, that's definitely lethal. Oh, that could have killed me. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. Uh, no 5 0. Card drawing engine? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Six senses are good. The seasons of growth. I'm trying out the SRAMs. I don't know about those, though. So this is a keep because we have once upon a time to help find a creature. <clears throat> like if I just find a Glade Cover Scout with once upon a time, it's all over. If I don't, well, I might have a problem. But likelihood is that we have time, and I don't mind running out their season of growth next turn, you know. Ooh, I know. Oh, with hardened scales. All right, we need to find a creature pretty quickly then. This is probably going to be another game where uh, it's just... Oh no, did I give you a 5-0? Oh no, I did. That feels bad. Kappa. Banned. You're banned from the channel. You have to sub now. Prime. Twitch Prime. Use your Prime right now. Oh, 
What is this poop soup? This poop soup is about to wreck them if I find a creature. <clears throat> oh god. Oh god. Thank god. A at home gamer, thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Well, they wouldn't offer the trade if they had one of their creatures in their hand, right? I mean, they have to assume I'm not blocking, though, so maybe it is kind of a free roll, but. 7 <laughs> 7. Casual. I'm gonna scry first. Oh, yeah, baby. That's exactly what we were looking for. <laughs> That is exactly what we were looking for. GG. Oh yes, I would also like to draw a card off of that, thank you. 10-8, <laughs> first strike, flying, trample, lifelink, reach, hexproof, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. This is fine. I have not seen or um, played myself any Mardu Pioneer or Mardu Vehicles, so I don't know how good it is. Probably not. They're just dead on board here. Is that Maria? Maria Boggles is tier one. We're very close to it. Get on that hype train. The only card that I could feasibly see being banned out of this deck would be Once Upon a Time, but I don't think there's a reason for them to do that. But this, it's not like this deck is busted. It's just... As far as Boggles are concerned, it's good. Yeah, can you imagine with Ranker? Oof. Not sure how I feel about these Seasons of Growth. Probably just going to end up cutting Sram. I think Seasons probably better. I have not seen a single Seed Rhino deck. I saw some, uh, some of these lists running Sentinel's Mark as well. That might be worth it. You get Lifelink for a turn. They have Thought Seizes, right? Duresses. Alright, we'll just let them take our Tower Archer. Presumably our Tower Archer. Ooh, unless they have, like, a second Thought Seize, and they just take both my creatures. But once upon a time, going to find a Glade Cover Scout 100%. 100%. I lied. Now remember, this deck only has eight creatures besides the SRAM in it. Yeah, somehow I hit my zero percenter to not hit a Glade Cover Scout. <clears throat> wind, wind, wind. Scale, scale, scale. Yeah, I think, I think Sentinel's Mark seems good. I should probably add those. I might just cut the SRAMs, honestly. The Sentinel's Marks are great versus any other goldfish. Um, and Vigilance is relevant, too. But more, more so for the lifelink. Even just getting, like, one hit in can swing the tides of battle. Could save the uh, state to kill the ballista, but I think I like kind of killing the scales. Maybe that's wrong though. All right, so they're gonna probably pump the ballista. Which means I take four, eight, maybe twelve. Oh, are they leveling their hanger back? Oh, that's kind of surprising.
Well, this is a weakness of the deck, not having a creature, obviously. Man, if they had like one more, one or two drop hexproof creature in the format. Goldfish means just um, playing your game, ignoring your opponent. Like when you're when you're testing, when you're building a deck and testing it out, and you're goldfishing, you're just playing games without an opponent. So goldfishing implies that you and your opponent aren't interacting with each other. You're just going with your game plan, own game plan. Easy keep. Any hand with a turn one Glade Cover Scout is normally going to be a keep. I think Fierce Witch Stalker, yeah, is too expensive. Do I think Merfolk would work in Pioneer? Uh, I saw a Merfolk list. I can't remember if it was good or not, but... I mean, at this point, there's no harm in just trying things out. It's more important that I resolve the enchantment than the creature. Yeah, I don't think Paradise Druid's good enough. I thought about that one, too. <laughs> Favorite deck so far? Um, I have a lot of decks that I've been liking. Like, I like this deck. I really like the, uh, the Cheerios deck. I like, um, I like the Improved Ascendancy deck. Yeah, it, it, like if you put in the Sentinel, four Sentinels marks with Paradise Druid, that's a thing. For sure. The Gruel deck with the World Spine Worm was just whatever. All right, let's find an Unflinching Courage and just win the game, please. <laughs> this channel is sponsored by Inked Gaming. Go to inkedgaming.com for awesome playmats, dice bags, and more.